Can red light therapy help you with hair loss? This seems like another one of those crazy benefits that is associated with red light therapy. Would you really believe that shining a light on your head could stop your hair falling out? But I know that if you are in the position where you have increased hair loss, then you are quite concerned about it and you'll want to do something about it. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing how red light therapy can work for hair loss. And I'm also going to show you some scientific studies that have shown what the benefits are when people with hair loss use red light therapy. So to start, it's important to discuss what hair loss is essentially. If you're someone who has hair loss, you'll know that it's not that your hairline just starts moving backwards. What ends up happening is a lot of your hair starts shedding out. I've experienced this myself when I was younger. It could have been androgenic alopecia, it could have been stress, but what I noticed was that there was clumps of hair that would come out of my head. So before I even noticed the receding hairline, what started happening was on my clothes, I would have a lot more hair than usual. And I even remember when I was in university, I used to take an extra shirt to class because there would be so much hair on my clothes at the end of the first session that it was quite embarrassing. What red light therapy does is it targets the mitochondria within your cells, and that basically means it helps them to make more energy. What this means for your hair follicles is if they are unhealthy, red light therapy can help because it increases blood flow to the area, which means that more nutrients are delivered to the hair follicles, and it also reduces inflammation. There's two studies that I'm going to show you quickly. The first one is on males. And the second study, they actually did the exact same protocol and they did it with females. So the first study is titled The Growth of Human Scalp Hair Mediated by Visible Red Light Laser and LED Sources in Males. Now what they did in this study is they had 44 males who all had androgenic alopecia, also known as hair loss, and they had them following a protocol where half of them would receive red light therapy on their scalp every second day, and the other half of the group received a fake light. So they were in the placebo group and they didn't even know that they weren't getting the treatment. But they did this every second day for 16 weeks, and what they found is that those who had red light therapy applied to their scalps they had a 39% greater increase in hair growth when compared to the placebo group. Now, if you're a woman, you might be wondering, will I see these same kind of benefits? And there's a second study, and this one was titled, The Growth of Human Scalp Hair in Females Using Visible Red Light Laser and LED Sources. Now, this is the same protocol where they did red light therapy with half of the group every second day, and then the other group, they were using a fake light, very similarly to the males who had a 39% increase in hair growth, with the females, what they found is there was a 37% increase in hair growth with those who did red light therapy versus those who were in the control group. So if you are someone who is experiencing hair loss, red light therapy is definitely something you should consider for helping to improve the health of your hair follicles. Even if you're someone who doesn't necessarily have a receding hairline, but you want to improve the health of your hair follicles, I personally, when I was 22 years old, I tried to grow my hair out like I have now. This is the first time I've ever been able to grow my hair out. And what happened when I was younger is as my hair got longer, it started falling out a lot more and I started having a bit of thinning here because the hair follicles weren't healthy enough to be maintained at this level. Obviously, this is more like a woman. So maybe I'm speaking to a female here who experiences a lot of breakage. But what I've found is that by doing red light therapy on my scalp, my hair follicles are a lot healthier. I have now a full bun of hair and I'm able to maintain the same hairline I had as when I had my hair a lot shorter. So whether you're experiencing hair loss that is quite far down the road already, or whether you're just looking to improve the health of your hair follicles, red light therapy is definitely a great option. And if you wanna do this, you could use something like the MyLight Move from Mychondria. It's a nice portable device, and you literally do eight to 10 minutes per day, eight to 12 inches away from the device, and that is enough to get the benefits and actually improve the health of your hair follicles. Something that's also very important to note is that all the mitochondria products, the MyLight Move and the bigger panels, all of them come with a 60-day trial period. So if you are someone who is looking for a solution, this becomes an absolute no-brainer because it's completely risk-free. You can try it for 60 days, and if you don't see any of the benefits that you expected, you can literally return it and get 100% of your money back. Even mitochondria covers the return shipping, so you're not going to be out a single cent. And the best case scenario is obviously that it helps with your hair quality and growing your hair back. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day further, and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.